I know one thing that I notice a lot on ductless systems is that obviously they need regular cleaning. This one here needs filters washed. But in our market especially, which is Florida, even if they're not super dirty, so even if the blower wheel doesn't need to be cleaned, um, they get this little bit of a, just kind of a strange odor. So you can see the air filters are in need of washing, but they're not terrible. This unit was completely cleaned out probably about three, four months ago, something like that. But in Florida, it's just really common. You start to have little odors. I'm not exactly sure all the reasons why on ductless this happens more than on typical systems, but you just get this little, just sort of funky sweet odor. It's not necessarily a mildewy smell, although sometimes you'll get that as well. And what I found that works really well is a couple different products from Refrigeration Technologies to treat the evaporator coil, Evap Plus, because it's no rinsing, it's uh, completely safe, and it's enzyme-based, so it works on those live organisms. And then on the drain pan and the, and the very last row of fins, we use Viper pan and drain treatment. And because neither of them are toxic, they don't have, they don't interact negatively with one another, you can use them both. So all I'm gonna do here is just spray down the evaporator coil. I'm not gonna take it fully apart because again, it was recently done. And then I'm just gonna spray in the bottom row here into the drain pan and that will take care of our odor. And one thing about Evap Plus in the, in the gallon jug is you don't dilute it, it just goes on straight. You don't have to worry about mixing, just put it in a spray bottle. And spray it from top to bottom. Condensate running down the evaporator coil will rinse it off because it's not going to corrode. And those enzymes will work on those odor causing organisms. So that's all you do with the Evac Plus. Make sure you don't spill anything. I'm going to drop cloth down underneath. You just do a little wipe off of the face and then the bottom row of the drain. I start on the far side because the outlet on this unit is on this side here. So furthest away from the drain outlet and I just work through. On ductless, this stuff is great and restaurant applications, anywhere that it's kind of mission critical and you need to really make sure that you're not going to damage anything and that you're not going to have any you know, caustic fumes. Both of these products are really, really great that very mild and because they are enzyme based they're going to work on those live organisms over a period of time which definitely helps very low they don't have a strong odor or anything they're just nice and fresh smelling anytime you work in a ductless system anytime you sprayed anything on it you have a couple different options because you don't want to just turn it on and let that stuff blow off because again depending on the type of room that it's in if it's in a garage or a lanai or something if, you know a, a sun room then it's not going to be as big of a deal but if you've done a full cleaning on it then that's where the bib kit from uh, speed clean comes in really handy you leave that in place and it takes all that off but for something simple like this your options really are let it sit for a while while you're doing something else and then come back, kind of give it a chance to run down into the drain pan and you'll, and you'll should be fine there. Otherwise you can kind of, if you have a drop cloth down and you just kind of hold up your, your rag, you know, obviously keep your face out of the way. You can, you can catch some of it or maybe a, a, a towel or something like that. Um, maybe overthinking this a little bit, but you do want to make sure you're not going to get any blow off here, but that's another nice thing by putting it on the evaporator coil rather than kind of soaking everything. You're not going to have as much of that blow off. Now, again, if things are dirty and you can see physical soil, like on this evaporator coil, I don't, there's no physical soil here. That's where you'd want to go with the bib kit. And again, you can use some of these same sorts of products on here. But what I just showed you is a nice little kind of simple maintenance cleaning on a unit that isn't that dirty. Big thanks to my friends, John and Mike Pastorello from Refrigeration Technologies, makers of Viper Cleaner for making products that are safe and easy to use as well as effective for the HVACR industry.